Back in December of 1952, HP introduced the 200 CD audio oscillator. It covered a range of 5 cycles per second to 600,000 cycles per second. It was smaller than its predecessors and sold for $150. Many years later, I came across this one down in the basement of the tower. It looked like no one had used it in many years, so I decided to pull it out and see if it still worked. I brought it up to my transmitter room and tried it out. First I connected it to the uh, HP 331A distortion analyzer that I have in the racks. And to my surprise, it did work. I don't know how old this one is, but I know it's been down there for quite some time. But I was very happy to see that it still worked. I remember hearing a story that these frequency selector dials were custom made for each unit so that they would accurately reflect the frequency being generated. With it on the bench, I opened it up. And there, to my surprise, were tubes. This was still a tube unit. It had been many years since I've seen any unit with tubes in it, other than my transmitter with its IOTs. There's the power transformer something nice and big and beefy. Here's the stabilization lamps. They're actually variable resistors that change with the temperature. And of course the tuning capacitor. And down here is the little high frequency output transformer they use for the higher ranges. and of course the low frequency transformer for the audio frequencies. And here's the dirty range selector switch. This is where I found out my contact cleaner was all out. And now with a fresh can I can start cleaning the switches. Yeah, you gotta get to all of them. You never know which one's the dirty contact. Yeah, just rotate back and forth, back and forth. Clean those contacts. Now for some outside cleaning. I like this little unit but I'm not sure where I could use it. It's more like a museum piece these days. The only analog up here at the transmitter is what I feed the cable system and I'm sure that'll change pretty soon. And I don't think they'd like me sending tones out to uh, the viewers either. Maybe I'll just take it home and sit it on a shelf. It'll make a nice uh, bookend for some technical books. Let's watch the tubes heat up. Over in the back you can see the gears for fine tuning the frequency. And now with a final test on the uh, 331A we get a nice stable, well almost stable, output from it but it still needs some more cleaning. 